I'm going to give a very abbreviated run-through on some of the Reprise 3 trial results because that really defines kind of where we are uh, today. I hope most of you are familiar with the Lotus platform. You've just heard about balloon expandable and self-expanding. This is neither. Uh, this is expanded mechanically, and I'll show you a little bit more of the mechanism later. Uh, the valve has a skirt on the distal half, which virtually eliminates PVL, completely retrievable. You can position the valve where it's going to end up and still take it back if you wish. No pacing, stable patient throughout with valve function pretty early during deployment. Uh, we have completed the largest comparison of two valve platforms, randomized core valve and Lotus, distinguished by neurologist exams rather than simply anybody who knows how to do a stroke scale. Uh, safety endpoint shown here, uh, multi-element composite safety. None of the elements are any different, core valve versus Lotus. Very excellent safety outcomes for both devices. Uh, one of the biggest discussion points, and this is what I'm going to focus on a little bit throughout this discussion, is new pacemakers. And you can see by two different measures, either 29 or 35 percent for Lotus versus 16 or 20 percent for core valve. And we'll talk a little bit about how the mechanism of valve deployment influences this. A couple of other big differences uh, between the Two platforms, small numbers, but important valve and valve and valve malpositioning uh, with core valve, which reflect the uh, issue of pop out, which is still part of that procedure. Uh, primary effectiveness superior for the Lotus valve with a composite that includes stroke, death, and PVL, driven by PVL. And people have said, why is PVL in the composite endpoint, and the answer is because it does have a mortality impact. So here's PVL in a little bit more detail, 7% uh, for core valve, sub 1% for Lotus, both consistent with other prior experiences. I do want to point out that 85% uh, of patients have none or trace, basically no PVL, and that uh, is still uh, really a distinguishing feature. Uh, even looking at the uh, Evolute Pro results that Jeff uh, just showed us. Uh, so uh, clearly uh, superior for PVL. Now understanding the mechanism of valve deployment is important. The constrained valve in the delivery sheath is eight centimeters. Free in air, it's half of that. And when it's fully mechanically expanded, it's half again. So the frame has to shorten all that distance. And Gen 1 Lotus shortened toward the center. So the bottom half of the valve would be uh, basically dragged through the LVOT. And that is what we are pretty sure uh, contributes to the pacing rate. So the next generation Lotus Edge, which is the main subject of this talk, shortens top down. And if you look at conventional Lotus on the left, you see this motion. If you watch the subvalvular part of the video, you see this motion uh, through the LVOT, whereas with the Lotus Edge depth guard system, you put the bottom of the valve where you want it to land, and then it shortens from the top down. And we do have at least preliminary results from this uh, system. So the Lotus Edge system has several other features. The handle's simpler. The system is lower profile. It'll go through a 12 French uh, e-sheath. The buckling mechanism, which has been uh, challenging to assess, now has markers so that it's uh, self-evident when the valve is locked. Uh, so these are all significant improvements in the system. Uh, the only data we have now on pacing with the depth guard system is from the respond registry with a pacing rate of 18 percent. And I think uh, this and Chris Maduri has reported single center experience with a better deployment technique of Gen 1 Lotus with pacing rates in the 12 to 14 percent rate. So I think this is a solvable problem and uh, I think as we learn how to use the platform better uh, that this will uh, improve. So these are the uh, features of the edge system, a more flexible guide catheter, uh, a expandable sheath, 
simple locking verification, bigger range of sizes. Uh, we're optimistic that this is going to be a superior valve in bicuspid and calcified valves, uh, and we will have registries uh, running on bicuspid, I hope, soon. And uh, depth guard appears to be making uh, an impact on the whole challenge of pacing uh, with this platform. Upcoming trials, uh, intermediate and low risk uh, trials, and uh, that's a work in progress. And we hope to have this device uh, back in use uh, internationally at the end of this year and at least in our continued access registry late this year, early next year. There is a third generation Lotus in uh, development, the uh, Mantra device, which includes uh, lower valve height and uh, lower profile. So uh, very steady development and more to come. Thank you.